first bike away with dawn yet to break is Max Commonsal's 125 Yamaha. On for Suj Baku there's a champagne breakfast as he brings his Yamaha 600 to the line. And making their world debut are the three Rothmans Porsches. World champion Jackie Ix in 175 with top French actor Claude Brasseur. Second is 1981 Paris Dakar winner Rennie Metsch. The French saloon car racing champion teamed with Dominique Lemoyne. One of Porsche's main rivals are close behind, the Lada Nevers of 1982 Ferro's winner André Trossa and the bespectacled Jean-Pierre Latigue. Meanwhile, New Year celebrations continue in the arms of the law. And so the sixth Paris-Dakar is underway, bringing Paris to a stop as they roll towards Toulouse and set for the ferry to Algiers. The evening of January the 1st and the Paris arrivals drive on to the three ships which will transport the raid across to the Algerian coast to the discord of a three-piece band. X checks out his Dash Electrics. His famous co-driver Brasseur looks on. René Metsch tunes into his torch as Porsche mechanics work on his 911. Another famous face is that of X sports car teammate Jochen Matz, changing his Rothmans Porsche 956 for a modified Mercedes. The first of many customs posts the raid will encounter on the way to Dakar and the adventurer's last contact with Europe. Tuesday, January the 3rd, the fleet reaches the African continent, destination the old port of Algiers, a doorway to the Arabic world. As disembarkation begins, we ask organizer Sabine about the way ahead. Well, it's a race of adventure covering 12,000 kilometers between Paris, passing through Algeria, and seven African countries, finishing in Dakar 12,000 kilometers later, passing through Niger, Upper Volta, the Ivory Coast, Guinea, Sierra Leone, back into Guinea again, and finally to Senegal. The event is open to an enormous amount of competitors who will all the time be racing against the clock. It's an event that has tremendous competitive spirit, takes place over three types of terrain, a very mountainous terrain, and then the desert, of course, the most beautiful desert perhaps in the world, the Tenere Desert, and finally in the tropical savannah of the Ivory Coast and Guinea. Seven countries to cover, 16 days to go. And on Wednesday, February the 4th, the convoys are over. The racing really begins. The first special stage, 498 kilometers of rocky going from El Galia to Insala. Fastest biker today will be the Rothmans Ferrers winner, Patrick Drobeck, on the Honda 600, picking his way up the rock strewn trail. Just look at the terrain they have to cross. But once Cyril Niveau finds a way through, he gets the power on, passing others. Hubert Oriol is spectacular, the heavy enduro bike bucking its way among the boulders. Not so sure-footed is Alan Laurent, who finds his Yamaha rather too heavy. Oriol's teammate Gaston Raillet passes by confidently. He was to post seventh fastest time on this stage. Both bike and riders are already taking punishment from the harsh Algerian terrain. And as this trio pass by, we look for René Medj, leading the four-wheel brigade. Here you can see why the Porsche four-wheel drive had been given longer suspension travel. <laughs> 